That's what I'm talking about. Wait. Okay, now. From the beginning. Hit it, boys. If you want to win the day, you have to make sure that your biggest assets are ready to rock and roll. So first of all, that might be your body in terms of exercising, but it also means that your mind. So before you begin your exercise, take a moment to check in both the body and the mind. So make sure that you're prepared in that respect. How are you, Scott? Tired. It's been a major, major battle for me over the years to get fit and healthy. Always training in the mind, but never really training the body. So this is what this is all about, is making sure that if you want to really be sharp, sharp in every single way, you've got to make sure you're physically fit. We always want to start our day strong. <laughs> I did, I don't. <clears throat> now, as your day then progresses, what you have to make sure is that you have things specifically diarised. We're all human and so we forget things and things crop up and it'll throw us off course. And a diary just keeps you on the right track to getting things done that week or that particular day. Perfect. Can we ever be off with someone? Yeah, let's something? go to the second floor. And then maybe with Scott, you're there. It's if the website, the podcast, and what we use the kind of orange and white. Yeah. If we then come to do workshops and then sort of we'll theme them with dark, yeah. so that it, so it's clear like this is content online material that this is an event, an event, a conference, to, yeah. or whatever a workshop. I, maybe I'm saying some as you can probably tell none of these things I've mentioned obviously are, are like you can sell tickets at because no. that's really not on my mind right now I mm. want to build a following a kind of culture a community uh, something get real foundations before we then start to charge Your diary should always be open for opportunities. So if something comes up and you need to seize upon an opportunity, then your diary has to be flexible enough to actually take advantage of that opportunity. Like sales or do not class themselves as a salesperson, but it's because you're not very good of it. Very good of it. So there's a... bringing out a podcast next week with Leila Khan and we need to record the intro and outro for the podcast, you know the bit that comes before the main body of the podcast. So this week we are joined by... As your day starts to progress, you want to make sure that your everything's diarised and you have all your meetings in place, but you also have certain tasks that you do. For example, every Monday morning I check back the previous week's results and I analyse them. That process or that period of analysing results from the previous week is in my diary. 
so it gives me peace and quiet and people know that I cannot be disturbed for that 30, 45 minute window because I'm analysing the previous week's results. I'm looking at conversion rates. How many appointments did we make? How many appointments did we attend? How many deals did we close? When we closed those deals, what did we actually sell? Getting organised, getting busy, having the right attitude to kick the day off, that's how you win your day. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, so running a business is difficult at the best of times and I appreciate that a lot of people here will be uh, free, single and have no commitments, yet there'll be some out there that have families, that have children, have wives and husbands and partners and you know everything else, whatever your favourite uh, option is. But I do, I've got a family, I, I have a, a better half home, I've got young children and it does get difficult and you have to work out ways. In order to be truly happy, you have to make sure that every aspect of your life is, uh, is, is as best as it can be and getting better at all times. I'm not going to sit here and claim to have it all nailed because I don't, but it's a constant thing that I am at least aware of, that we always have to be making sure that we allocate time to our family. Because if you're in business, it'll give you so much satisfaction, but at one point in time, if you piss off your other half and you upset your family and your kids, then what's the point in it all? So making sure that you have that life where you've got balance in the different aspects of it is very much important. It is not an easy thing to juggle, but that's the life of a business person. That's the life of an entrepreneur. you just got to keep trying to get better. Okay. <laughs>